what's going on y'all we are back out here on the sea dew it has been a long time since we have been on the sea dew however we've got us a string of warm weather it is still winter it is february right now we're gonna give it a shot we're gonna get out here and we are gonna be heading out trying to catch any, really anything that a bite speckled trout redfish bass doesn't matter whatever we catch today we are taking home to eat so y'all stay tuned see if we make it happen Well, this is where we are going to be starting after a nice cold run. This is it. See if we can find us some fish in here. All right, we are going to start off throwing the Southern Salt Hoodwink. This is our own personal lure. If y'all want to purchase these, check out the link below. I'll have it in the description. They are absolutely money for just about anything inshore. And we're going to see if we can make something happen with them today. Oh, oh, he's on. That did not take long at all when we got our first fish. Are we going to be eating? Looks like, feels like it's going to be a keeper. Dude, that was seriously, that's a good trout. That's a good trout. That was like our third cast. Look at that fish right there. Boom! Let's go! And the hook just pulled out. <laughs> How incredible is that, y'all? First trip out on the sea dew for the year. And we got us a nice speckled trout right there. Y'all look at that fish. Beautiful 17, maybe even 18 inch speckled trout right there. How awesome is that? Let's go ahead and pop this guy in the cooler. All right, let's see if we can get us another one. Y'all just saw some bait getting smashed on right there. Big fish just came up and crushed it. Did not look like a speckled trout. If it was, it was a giant. Mm, nailed it nailed it that's a good one come on come on that's feeling like a real good fish running a little bit of drag staying down whoo that might have been that fish oh we got him foul hooked that is a good fish i think we got him foul hooked oh good fish good fish look at that one y'all let's go boom Yo, I am getting absolutely fired up. I mean, this is just our first spot and we are crushing some nice fish. We've been here for all of about five minutes. That's our second fish on the hoodwink right there. Beautiful, beautiful speckled trout. All right, let's see if we can get our third keeper speckled trout up in here. All I'm doing is throwing that lure out and just giving it one good lift, letting it glide back down, reeling in my slack. That's been the retrieve so far. Every once in a while, I will mix it up if I'm not getting any bites, but this seems to be the deal right now. All right, we're starting to get a little shallow here. I'm just gonna ease back up, restart my drift. That wind's kind of pushing this way. So I'm just letting the wind kind of push the ski and then I'm just kind of fanning out on this flat right here. Got him. Got him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another keeper. That's a good one. Come here. Oh, yeah. Too easy out here today, y'all. Which y'all can see, I'm on the jet ski, obviously. But the reason I'm on the jet ski is because it's a little bit warmer today than it has been. And more than likely, that's what's got these fish fired up right now. Water temperature has increased about seven or eight degrees over the last couple of days. And it has got these guys fired up. Oh, got them. They are stacked right here, y'all. Very seldom does it just come easy. And today it is easy. I guess I'm being rewarded for having such a slow winter with these trout finally having a great day out here. And this is the first one that we've caught that is not, not a keeper. Get bigger, buddy. We'll come back and find you. 
Let's try it again, see if there's a big one sitting down there. I'm gonna let my line get all the way down. It's about 10 foot in this little basin right here. And I've been kind of letting it go midways. Let's see if there's anything hanging down all the way on bottom. He nailed it. Good one. Good fish. Oh, what a, what a beautiful fish. He hit it so hard. Come on, hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness. So much fun out here today, y'all. Always a good day when you can say that you're catching instead of fishing. Those days lately are so few and far between. Well, look how fat that trout is right there. What a beautiful fish. That is a heavy 19 incher, maybe even 20. And to find five fish in our first spot, and most of them have just been a very, very healthy trout. All right, y'all, we're gonna leave this flat right now and we're gonna ease up, find us a little creek to go into. All right, we decided to make a run into this next little bayou, kind of similar to the other spot. The bite kind of died off there, but we caught a ton of fish fast. And I feel like if we just go back there a little bit later on, the bite will probably regenerate, but yeah. Uh, pretty much the same deal, same type of area. Let's see if we can catch some more here. Got them. There we go. Been a while since we caught our last fish. We've moved to several different spots. And it looks like we got us another old speckled trout. This guy probably just undersized. We are only two fish away from a limit. We got four nice fish in the box right now. Go ahead and let that guy go. Appreciate the bite, buddy. I normally don't keep limits. Y'all know me, I don't keep a whole lot of fish, but we got some people coming over and uh, we're gonna whip up something nice. I am gonna be doing a catch and cook for y'all as well. So if y'all stay tuned to the end, y'all will see how we cook these fish up. drop just threw it out there and i felt him smack it come here feeling like a good one swimming at me right now it definitely feels like he's got some good weight to it come on yeah oh <laughs> well dang i thought we were gonna have us a nice trout turns out it's just the old pike chill out chill out dude <laughs> well i've never caught this fish from a ski all right calm down if you have never seen the teeth inside one of these critters right here they will absolutely jack you up i mean uh, they got teeth kind of just lining the entire inside of their mouth i've got no doubt if he gets a hold of your hand it is not going to be a good day All right, dude. See ya. Bye-bye. All right. We are back at the house now. Let me see if I can get this cooler off of here for y'all. Oh, yeah. Y'all look at those beautiful fish. All right, there's both of those are about cookie cutters. And these are cookie cutters as well. Look at this. Y'all, that is one of the fattest trout I have caught in a while, man. Oh, man, these are gonna make a great meal. All right, I am gonna show y'all how I clean these speckled trout up. 
The knife that I'm gonna be using is my sword nine inch medium flex fillet knife. Y'all can pick these up at Cedar Swamp or I'm gonna post a link down below. Y'all can grab them there online. Best fillet knives on the market, hands down. Now one thing I do like about speckled trout is that they are one of the easier fish to clean because they don't have a big scale structure, right? Their scales are micro. They're easy to cut through, get into. Now I do this a little bit slower than a lot of people. A lot of people just go in there, swipe them off, sling. I ain't gonna do all that, right? Do it just like I do any other fish. I cut in here, come down, open it up like a book till I get close to the tail, poke through the other side. And I am gonna leave that on right there at the end. And then I'll just come on back up. Just like that. Making sure I don't leave nothing behind. And then from there, we always leave this on in the back because that keeps your you know your fillet from slipping away from you kind of holds on to it so when you start to take that meat off the skin you can kind of get in there get under it just like that and there she is y'all that is our speckled trout filet. Did not leave anything behind right there. All of that is bone. That's how I clean them. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the rest of these and I will see y'all on the back porch. Let's cook these guys up. So we're getting ready to cook up this fish. This is gonna be a super easy, simple recipe with only about three or four ingredients. Y'all check it out. So I just got one of our speckled trout filets right here. And then to that, I'm gonna be seasoning that with some Compass Point Blend seafood seasoning, as well as half a stick of butter, lemon, and then have a little bit of flour right here. That's it, y'all. That is all you need to make this recipe, and it is a dang good one. So the first thing we're gonna do is just get our flame going to our cast iron skillet. So we wanna make sure that skillet gets real hot. And then to that, I'm just going to go ahead and chunk that half a stick of butter on there. We're going to let that get nice and cooked down until that butter turns brown. While our butter's melting, we're going to go ahead and prepare our fish. So it's got us a beautiful white speckled trout filet right here. I'm going to take that seafood seasoning and we're going to put a decent amount over the top of that fish. And we're going to do both sides. Don't be shy right here. Season that fish up, it can handle it. All right, and then right here, all I have is just some all-purpose flour. All I'm gonna do is just put a little bit down here on this plate. That should be enough for one filet. It's not gonna take much at all. Now I'm just gonna take that speckled trout and I'm gonna coat that fish as much as I can with that flour. Just like that. And that's gonna seal all that seasoning down in there on that fish. Butter is looking like it is just about ready. Y'all will know, like you can start to see it it's turning brown a little bit. When that butter starts to turn brown, it just releases a really sweet, fragrant smell to it, right? So I believe that is ready to throw our fish on. Just like that. All right, and then we're gonna let that cook right there, kind of do like a shallow pan fry for about four minutes on each side. All right, I believe we're about done on this side. Go ahead and give it a little flip. Yeah, that right there is what we're looking for, that golden brown, got a nice crispy texture to it from that flour. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing on this side, but check it out. Now we got our lemon. We're just gonna cut that in half right there, and we're gonna squeeze one whole lemon on top of this butter. 
Chill out. And chunk that out there somewhere. Kind of make sure you get that fish just coated in that lemon butter right there. That's going to be an amazing, amazing tasting piece of fish right there. All right, it is looking like our fish is complete. Go ahead and slide that over here on plate. All right, y'all. Well, the moment has finally come. This meal came together in all of about 10 or 15 minutes. Super easy. Great way to cook fish. Like, if you've had a long day on the water, most people will have most of these ingredients laying around the house, so no need to go to the store or anything like that. Check it out. This is our finished product right there and i do have some asparagus and some rice going inside it is not quite done yet but our fish is so i'm gonna go ahead go in for a taste test for y'all you know i gotta do it that looks like a good piece right there y'all that is so good so good mm. so lemony buttery only thing that y'all could add to this to make it better put some garlic in there in that butter and also garnish it with parsley but i didn't have those ingredients but that right there by itself absolutely killer y'all i'm about to go inside smash the rest of this fish i hope y'all enjoyed the video if y'all would please leave me a like subscribe to the channel comment with any questions oh one more thing i've had a lot of questions about these hats right here they have camo thread on them. They're all black Richardson 112 hats. If you go to the Southern Salt Bait Company link in the description, you will see these hats on our website. If y'all want one, go over there and check it out. See y'all next time.